Tuesday here in McAllen, Texas. I uh, got the things, you know, rolling around in my head after the uh, builders call today, and there's so much emphasis on the uh, the branding with Charity Water. And if we get enough people to donate to this good cause, then we'll have our brand WFG or WSB. I'm not sure what they're going to do. Probably WSB next to Google and, and Coca-Cola and other, you know, well-named brands. And I'm like, it's a it's a it's a brilliant idea, right? It's it's a tax deduction, um, especially for the big the big earners who they need that, right? The and it's for a good cause, and you know it's it's causing our name to get out there in a good way. But I'm like, well, why why do they gotta do that? It's it's uh, it reminds me of a uh, sex of the Christian faith that have to continually beat the drum on why they are. They do things the way they do and and all that rather than just focusing on the main point and the, the main you know, the main thing. And it got me to thinking about uh, loan modifications. And I remember when those came around and I was already a real estate broker. And everybody got all excited about, you know, promoting these loan modifications to, to all their family and friends and their past clients. And I am I was a broker. And I was approved like 70 different lenders. And I was thinking, you know, none of these mortgage companies that I represent are calling me up asking me to, to market their loan modification product. And uh, the banks are not on our side. So I told that to my SMD and told him, don't do it. And he already had a couple people that were, you know, gotten their information in, were waiting on their their response to their to their modification, and and uh, he told them to, you know, he, he got them to back out. And uh, those loan modification companies didn't perform and scorched the earth from all those. There was some big pens. There was a CEO. There was a you know, field vice chairman. And, a whole bunch of people that um, cause a whole bunch of other people to go in default and and, and get um, dings in their credit, you know, uh, and, and go into foreclosure and and uh, all that with their properties, right? And so, with that said, it made me think about. This guy named Ron Weinberg. Ron Weinberg is a national sales trainer in the mortgage and real estate business. He's got a really good-looking haircut, right? That's, uh, he's uh, he's from New York, and he puts out really good information, no fluff, right? And it makes me think about Schwan Wynn. You know, talking about you know getting away from the personality-driven uh, sales, okay? And of course, Ron Weinberg, it, it's it's all about listening and performing, and not a lot of personality in it, right? He doesn't he doesn't bring that and. It's just really straightforward information that he that he brings, and he, uh, when it comes to marketing and understanding how to how to get referrals and how to find your niche market, and and but also listening and to hearing and understanding why people stall on the close. Now I've been talking to him for years about taking his information, his sales information and, and understanding to financial services. And our company probably is the only company that it would work. Like if you don't have at least $50,000 set aside for, you know, Edward Jones to, to invest for you, they won't even talk to you. 
and it's going to be like two hundred fifty thousand dollars for Merrill Lynch and a lot of these other advisors. And then the other advisors don't have the resources that we do. Okay, so we're like the only company that can take somebody who's at zero or even upside down and get them to the point where they can start getting their money to grow with the good companies and have all the different, you know, living benefits that our products can, which can take you down the road further. I mean, if you, you could have a lot of money, but if something happens and, and you get cancer or you get some catastrophic illness and you don't have the right protection, all them assets are going to the doctor or the hospital or Medicare, right? Because that's what they'll do. They'll lean your property. You got a house free and clear, man. And something happens, and now you got a six hundred thousand dollar lien on on the estate. Okay, if it's not if it's not protected the right way. Okay, so there's a lot of benefits to who we are and what we do. And we got you know I love it like in the in the in the workbook like twenty six different ways to uh, you know free up money okay so people can that think that they don't have anything can find something if you free up some money you reduce some expenses for somebody and now they've got a couple hundred dollars that they didn't realize that they had it's like free money to them they, they can put to work for themselves and it doesn't affect their lifestyle in a negative way whatsoever okay so I'm bringing this around in my head thinking about what I can do and what we can do with what we do for people and we can take people that are from like I said they're upside down they got more bills than they do income and turn them turn it around for them and then they start all kinds of things start, they start a snowball effect and that can be used as, as Paying down debt, you know, that's a term. The uh, a roll down, or you know, or roll up, however you want to call it. Okay. But also, you know, start they, at the same time building in their accounts. You know, getting their emergency fund funded, and now they got to, and now they got assets. If they if there are renters, now they're in a situation where they can get their, you know, they can get some get a, get a house, right? And then incorporate that into the process and so by the time they pay off their debt they also have their nest egg set aside for retirement and now now they're actually living the American dream right and uh, those are the things we do and then and then you know I was really having a struggle for a long time you know because I didn't hear good things about the index funds because when I was in the blue team we were doing mostly variable products right and then I saw this graph from 2000 to 2012 showing the performance in an VUL versus an index universal life and the the gain from 2000 to 2012 in the uh, variable universal life was a positive point four three percent but the uh, index universal life because of the floor because of the protection was up like a hundred and fourteen percent okay over the same period of time okay you can't get that from real estate you can't have that you know, and I'm not saying real estate's a bad thing, but you got to be smart about it. You know, you don't buy at the top, right? And you don't, and you, you know, you, you, you sell when it's smart time to sell, right? The uh, you make sure you got, you know, you're in a market 
that you can keep that thing rented. I remember when uh, the uh, General Atomics went out of business and how that affected so many people in San Diego because so many people were in the aerospace industry and DOD and now they got downsized and, and uh, they didn't have income coming in and they had to they had to do a short sale or walk away from their homes okay so you know that shouldn't happen if you really understand what's going on and you're paying attention to it and if and if it's your house your um, your your primary residence it doesn't make a difference right unless your interest rate goes up okay and but if you, if you manage that right that shouldn't be a problem either okay because uh, when it was you know low you should have been making the the uh, regular payment and uh, and knocking down as much principal as possible. You know, it's just all about being smart and being uh, conscious of what you're doing and what's going on. I am seriously thinking about um, doing workshops for first time buyers and beyond. And basically get them to see that you know getting yourself in a position to buy a house is just the first step in getting yourself in a position to be financially independent and most people don't go there most people most people in the industry the more real estate professionals are only focused on that one point that getting them that's making that sale which is now putting them even, even more debt and uh, that's a big challenge that's um, not really serving right you gotta you gotta keep it if you, if you get them in a position where now they got that house. Now let's let's show you how to knock that mortgage down faster without reducing your cash flow and saving for retirement with tax advantages so you can be sustainable you know, with the money that you have. So yeah, I'm, I, I like the way my brain is going right now and it's funny because it's, it's, it's yeah, I used to think like this all the time and so there's something got reactivated uh, and all just because I watched the uh, builders call today all right have a great one